Hey guys, hey everyone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is where you are. It's your girl Tweet D. Welcome to the camp if you're new here. Thank you so much for stopping by. For all my subscribers who's been with me for a long time, big up on yourself. And for my new subscribers, thank you so much for your surprise for for your support. <laughs> I'm gonna say a surprise for your support and of course big up on yourself as well enough respect no let's jump straight into your message our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, guys. Let's jump into your message and let's see what's holding your divine masculines back. Let's see what the situation is. Okay, Father God, what's holding these line masculines back? You have the justice card. So they're fighting a battle in regards to moving forward. This is something about themselves that they know they have to make right. It's like they're seeing something here that... um. Whether they did wrong or somebody did wrong to them and it's like they have to make it right before they can move forward. If this was something that they did to you that's stopping them from moving forward, not until they regain that confidence would they be able to come forward. This is also about the balance on the inside. So it's like they cannot move forward unless things in your lives, they're balanced. Everything has to be in order before they can move forward. See, they're not balanced. Emperor in the reverse. They're not balanced at all. Their life is a mess. Their life is a mess. And the hermit. They're a mess. But at the same time, look at this. The hermit in the reverse. So some of your divine masculines here are, are coming out of that darkness. Coming out of that period of unknown. That period of searching for something. Searching on the inside. So it's like now they've, they've found what it is that was making them unbalanced. That got them confused. That, that made them irritable. That made them bossy. That made them into that negative part of themselves. And they're balancing that energy. So they really need some, to balance something inside of them before they move on. Ace of Cups. Wow! The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So like I said, guys. They have to achieve this balance on the inside before they can move forward. There is a family issue that some of these divine masculines are working on fixing as well. So it's not only about them, but it's also about, um, yeah, there you go. It's also about people in their lives. But what this is telling me right now is as soon as your divine masculines get out of that, hermit mode then they'll be able to move forward with that new start for that new start that passionate new beginning that that new beginning that's that's gonna fill their heart it's that balance it's it's that balance passion and desire chasing after what they're passionate about like like like, like whatever it is it's just about passion you know you know that energy that you, that makes you chase and then after you get what you want you realize oh my god this was just like just a feeling that i had or just something i had to clear from my system and your heart finding out what's true in their life what what their true feelings are 
moving towards that, balancing the passion and true love. So they're balancing themselves. Yeah, look, six of swords. They're moving on. They're moving forward, moving to calmer waters. This is what's happening with your masculines right now. Actually, the things that are happening within your divine masculine, it's mostly about passion. And I'm not talking about the passion where they are so passionate about you, they won't stop chasing you because it's true love, right? But passion because this is what will make me happy this is what will make me fulfill this is this is what everybody is doing so i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna chase because they have been chasing dreams things they, are, they were passionate about they have been chasing these things but it turns out that these things that they were so passionate about that they were hang, hanging on to it was not for them and that's why nothing was working out in their life that's why they were so irritable like I love money so much and I'm chasing my money and I'm working and I'm working and I'm working and I'm working, but I'm still unhappy. I'm still irritable. You know, I still cuss everybody out that comes around me because it's not the right thing that they should be passionate about. You have some with addictions. That they need to learn to control, to balance. Nine of Swords, that confusion that's keeping them up at night because they're not balanced. It's what they're getting. It's like, why am I, why am I chasing my dreams, but yet still I'm unhappy? Why am I hanging on to these things that? That I, that I love so much that, that I thought was my everything. And yet, I'm so unhappy. 717. And that's because you're chasing the wrong things. The hangman. So there you are. Going into that perception. Changing their perception. Seeing clearly what true passion is and what true love is. Let's get some truth on your message, please. 747, guys. Okay, Father God, please give me some truth on this message here, please. Job, award, promotion. <laughs> you see what I told you? Your chase. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. I love when this happens. I love when I'm so accurate. Because it shows you guys that I'm not wrong. And that I'm depending on my God for my message. Which is exactly why I can't be wrong. That's why I say my prayer at the beginning of every message. Because I know where my messages are coming from. job award or promotion they're chasing things you're passionate about chasing jobs money the money and, and and the feeling that they'll get when they have that money that they've been chasing after the things they're holding on to that they thought would fulfill them but it's not it's not Look, 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 look. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> Financial abundance. This is what they're chasing. That's what they're chasing. They will have their abundance. Because everyone should be focused on their abundance. But some of them, they are, they are, they are over in, overindulging in these things. And not paying attention to what's truly important, which is true love. Their true love. But they're going to see the difference. Because that hangman came out. And they're no longer in the hermit mode. A new soulmate coming in. 
So now they're going to be able to focus on that true love, true love. The person that came into their life, that new person. The one they ignored because they were maybe over there with somebody else, even though they knew that that situation wasn't going too well. But that's what I wanted. That's what that, I started with that. I wanted that. I don't want to end that, you know, because tradition says I'm obligated to. That's my plan. You know, the emperor in the reverse. That, that's what I want. That, that I control my life. This is what I want. This is what I say. And that's what I'm going to do. This is what I started with. I'm not going to stop. But their true love came in and they didn't see it. They thought it was just a part of that passion, that energy that will not last. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. They're controlled by ego. They're controlled by their own ego. There it is. Controlled by their own ego. But that's because they have their self-esteem and their self-worth issues. If I don't have certain amount of money this person will not love me if i can't give this new person so and so they will not love me for who i am they will not accept me for who i am if i have certain habits they won't love me so they're trying to focus on those things and they may have just turned their back on you because they were too focused on their on, on, on their negativity See, avoiding commitment will not commit, will not open their heart to true love because they were focused on their passion, the bad passion. Wants to move away, moving together. So their heart was telling them, or their heart is telling them and pushing them. Move towards that true love, move towards your dreams, move towards your happiness. But they were so focused on what they already had or how their life was already going because that's how they were planning it. That they didn't realize that this new love, this new life that's waiting for them is way better. That was than what was um, than what they had in the past. This connection is over, no second chance. Some of them may have even told you this. But they were running from you. They were running from the connection. Because when they met you, you weren't a part of their plan for long term. They didn't they they didn't know that they could have such a pull towards you. Their ego told them they weren't good enough. So they weren't planning on something long term. They didn't even think that you really love them. Property loss. So some of your divine masculines may be going through a loss as well. Finances, something to do with court, justice. And also finding themselves again. So when they get over their ego, they'll finally see how to balance true love and true passion. This has been your message, everyone. To purchase your book or a reading, go to twindflamed.square.site. It's 626 of my little timer. And also to purchase your money magnet bracelets, your bath bombs, your incense, go to twindyholisticboutique.square.site. 